a very, oh, someone's here. Greetings internet, welcome back to another vlog on my channel in a different setting than normal. We have time traveled, <laughs> it feels like. I love the vintage vibes of this hotel room. It really makes me feel like I could be in honestly any era of time. Like I really don't know where we are or when we are rather. I've been dying to stay at the Bowery Hotel. It's been on my bucket list for years now. I've always wanted to stay here ever since I used to live on Bowery. I've, I used to live on this very street and from my window at my apartment, my last apartment to the loft, if you guys remember the studio, I could see this hotel from my bedroom window and I said to myself, I'm like, I will find a way to stay at that hotel. Even though, of course, it's pretty rare that we stay at hotels here in the city as New Yorkers, which I know I can't call myself that until 10 years, but a person living in New York, you know, you, you don't really get many opportunities to stay at a hotel in New York City because of course we have our apartments. And so, you know, if you're gonna stay in a hotel, it's typically not in your city, obviously, but that is why staycations are so glorious. So I'm staying here at the Bowery Hotel, checking off a little box on my, on my uh, bucket list because I'm shooting a campaign here. So I had a brand reach out wanting me to shoot a body wash campaign and I was thinking about the concept of shooting it in my own bathroom. One thing is you can hear every door, every door closed, but that's kind of like my apartment building as well. So they gave me guidelines and showed me a brief, but they're like, you know, kind of up to whatever you want to do. And we'll obviously need to approve your idea, but you know, and it was, I just love when brands do that. So it was very fun putting together a concept. And you know, while I was thinking, I was like, you know, I mean, I could film this at my apartment. My bathroom is totally fine. Like nothing's really wrong with it, but, you know, it's just, I wanted something a little bit, I wanted something with a little bit of pizzazz, you know? So I wanted to think outside the box and I was like, you know, I think it'd be cool if I go to this hotel that I've been wanting to go to for literally ever and make it into this like staycation date night sort of story. Because if you think about body wash and like, I mean, when do you use body wash the most? It's like, you know, when you're going on a date or you're like doing the everything shower because you're, you know, you're gonna wear something really fun that you wanna be like feeling like you smell and look your best and I don't know, I was just like kind of going with the ideas in my head and rolling with it and I was like, oh, you know, staycation, date night, perfect. Like that will lend perfectly to the body wash. It all connects, it's all gonna be glamorous and gorgeous and I just, I just went with it and before I knew it, I had a hotel room booked so <laughs> here we are. No, I'm so grateful to be here finally. Like this is just my dream and Jack's gonna meet me soon after he's done work and then we're gonna go down to the Gemma. No, not the Gemma, to Gemma. It's the restaurant for the hotel. Um, and I've actually, so I've been to Gemma before but I've never, of course, like I said, not stayed in this hotel but I've been to Gemma and it's such a vibe. I've always had my eye on this one specific room here. Like I, I've done my research guys. I've always had this saved in my mind that I was gonna come here and stay in a garden room, which it just makes you feel like you've been transported to a different era. Like you literally feel like you're Audrey Hepburn, okay? It's just, it's so pretty. It definitely packs a bigger punch in the summer when the trees are in bloom, but it's still very pretty right now. And at nighttime, I just, I can't wait for the sun to set. And, oh, okay, I'm gonna show you guys the garden before I explode. And then I'll show you guys like around the other places that aren't visible right now and but I'm gonna shoot some content. Woo, how fun, how exciting. I'm also, I'm wearing this red dress tonight, so I'm gonna wear something fancy schmancy. Yeah, there's a table here. I've already plopped down some hair stuff, um, but this, this is what I was talking about. We're gonna go outside into the garden area, and this is gonna be even cooler at nighttime because they have these little lights up here. Obviously it'd be prettier with these trees in bloom, but you get just a really serene backyard sort of feel. It'll be pretty at night because we have these little, um, what are those, light bulbs? <laughs> little bulbs. Just gonna head back in. It's a little chilly, but not too cold. And then voila, we have this vibey room that I'm just obsessed with. And then of course the bathroom, which is what I will be using for my campaign is, voila. It's just 
so clean, so easy to shoot with this like clear or glass situation. Like it's just gonna be so good for my vision. So I'm going to get cracking on that in a second here. I'm gonna attempt to film myself in the shower with a tripod. Here's my tripod right here in the corner. So yeah, I will film some stuff as I go and show you guys my full outfit later. We love a change of scenery. We love the Bowery Hotel. Okay, let's let's get to work. I'm I'm dilly dallying, obviously. POV. 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 Picture this. Picture this. Just a few more takes and then I've got it. POV. POV. No, it was nice actually. It was, it was uh, mate, yeah, yeah, semi finals. So it was actually nice to have a stress free, no Arsenal weekend. everyone I'm wearing this yellow gown this morning from free people it's like a midi dress and I think this is my favorite silhouette ever where it's like a strapless kind of bodice situation that kind of goes down like this and fans out into a full skirt so Joe Malone released a new perfume it's actually right here <laughs> this is it so I'm going to the launch event for the new perfume this morning and it's actually at Phuket's, I think that's how you say it. It's a hotel here in the city that's so beautiful. And they're doing some sort of brunch launch event. And I think my Uber is actually here, so I have to go. But I will bring you guys along and I will also recap when I get back. But I just wanted to show you guys my outfit before. I'm wearing this trench over top. It doesn't exactly go fully, like perfectly, but it'll do. It will do. It's like a garden party theme, so. All right, let's hit it. Shadows of that time are cast beneath the street light beam As the world moves on Time sings a song Don't cry Don't cry As the days move Okay, so I'm back from the event. It was beautiful. I was there much longer than I thought I would be. I thought it'd be kind of like a quick pop in, pop out, but I ran into a bunch of my friends and the, the people that work at Jo Malone and at the agency that put on the event were so cool, very nice. So I chatted for much longer than I thought I would, but <laughs> it was really fun. I'm saying that only because I have content due from that event right afterwards. They're doing same day content, like I'm posting for the brand because today is National Fragrance Day. So they launched the perfume strategically on National Fragrance Day. So they want the content to be approved and set live today, same day. So quick turnaround. So. I took a bunch of videos before the event, like getting ready and then at the event. So I'm going to airdrop them to myself now and then edit them into a cohesive, cute video about National Fragrance Day. And the fragrance itself, which is called Frangipani, I got the correct pronunciation. It's named after a flower that, you've definitely seen it before. It's like a yellow and white flower um, that they have in places like Bali and other kind of similar climates and areas like that. So it's a very pretty flower that they modeled the bottle after and of course the scent. So yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna do a little voiceover about it. The flower itself has this very interesting symbolism and history. So I'm gonna lean into that. Um, I learned a lot and I am excited to make this video. Um, 
I'm also ravenous. They had these like cute little like easy bake oven sized foods at this event, but I need like a real meal. So I need to make myself something. I went grocery shopping last night because I had actually nothing in my fridge. I only had a small canister of chocolate frosting that was like literally the only thing I had in there. So I went and got a bunch of produce and things. So I'm gonna make myself a little something and I'm talking fast because I actually had three coffees at this breakfast thing. So I need to cool my jets. But yeah, the event was fabulous. I'm going to edit this content now, send it out for approval. I'm going to edit a podcast episode that I recorded yesterday for next week when I'm in London. I'm, I'm now kind of in the throes of doing all the work that I want to get done before I go to London next week so I can not be stressed about it when I'm there and really enjoy being in the moment. So I'm gonna try to bang out a lot of work today. But I also have a little happy hour in a few hours. It's kind of an early happy hour, it's at 4.30. My management team, they flew in from LA for some meetings this week, so they're gonna do a little happy hour with all of their New York clients. So it'll be cool to meet the other people that my management team represents and see them, of course. I've been with them for like over a decade, so I always love seeing them. And yeah, so that is what today is looking like. It's been a very bougie week for some reason, like with the hotel and everything. And it's been a work week, but a very fabulous one, I will say. Like this is, I feel very lucky. <laughs> it's a very, oh, someone's here. Anyway, we will chat in a minute. Well, 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 it's one of those days. I was dressed for summer this morning and now I'm back in winter. <laughs> I went out this morning in that cute yellow sundress situation with the trench and I froze my butt off like it's just crazy I never know what to expect I never know and the numbers just like don't make sense to me with like the 60s and then the 20s uh, you know that sort of thing so I digress today or tonight rather I'm wearing layers <laughs> because I learned from my mistakes this morning so I'm wearing my go-to just black coat I wear with everything, this like felt coat from Revolve. Then layer number two. So underneath the big coat, we have a Neen Bang blazer that I got on sale. So love this. Then the dress, my old reliable black silk with pockets. And it's like kind of a, a square neckline maybe. I actually have a little bow in my hair. Um, because I feel like bows really had their moment there for a minute in the winter, so I bought a lot of them and I refuse to be done with them now that, you know, the trend has passed. Like, that's just not how I roll. I think bows are one of those, like, forever trends, or at least for me. Like, I will be wearing them forever because I just think they're so cute. It's a nice way to keep your hair back, too. So have the bow and then, yeah, coat gonna go on top, keep me nice and toasty. I'm going to a happy hour with my management team, I think I said this earlier, I forget, we're getting drinks at this place in Midtown. I have to actually remind myself what it's called. I think it's a hotel bar. Um, so we're gonna go there, actually they're there already. Um, it's kind of one of those like, doesn't start at a specific time. It's like a rolling sort of come stop by sort of event, which is great. Like a stop by sort of thing, like whenever you can. And I just got a bunch of edits sent to me for the Joe Malone video. Just honestly nothing crazy, but it's one of those videos that has to have a quick turnaround time because it's supposed to go live today. So I had to quickly make those edits, which I did. And I'm just waiting for final approval so I can post it before I leave the house. Yep, and <laughs> Jack is telling me I should probably subway because it is five o'clock. And if you guys live in a city, you know what happens. I guess honestly anywhere, five o'clock is when everyone's trying to get the heck out from wherever they are, like leave work for the day. And Midtown is a hub for people working, like office buildings. So it's always such a bitch to get to and from this time of day and first thing in the morning. So I was gonna take a car because I'm wearing these little heels, which I actually love these shoes. Look at these. How adorable are these shoes? They're a collab with Dolce Vita and For Love and Lemons, and they were sold out in every single size except for mine, so I took it as a sign to get them. Um, but I'm wearing little heels, so 
the subway stairs always, I, it's a, a risking death situation. Like I risk my life every time I go down the subway stairs with heels on um, and everyone's rushing and you know running to and fro. So I think I'm gonna have to do it though because I get very car sick as well. So <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking to you about this. I mean, by the time this goes live, I will have already decided my mode of transport and gotten there and drank my martini and gone home. So anyway, today is Thursday and Thursday evenings call for a little, little booze. Um, though I was trying to be good. I was trying to like actually cleanse until I go to London next week. So I anticipate a lot of wine with my family because my family, big wine drinkers. Um, but I might have to, for my travels, my troubles getting uptown might have to indulge. And I don't really see my management team very often. So it'd be a good um, cause for celebration to see them. And I get, yeah, lots to talk about. But anyway, that is the update, everyone. I've been gabbing on for too long. I need to figure out my, my route and go. So, ciao. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning, Sunday at nine. And where have we left off? I think I've actually done a very terrible job vlogging this week, but not to make excuses, but I am going on a trip next week. I'm going to London and I've been doing so much this week to try to prepare, or this past week, I should say, trying to prepare for next week, knowing I won't have that much time to work this coming week or luckily because I will be you know enjoying my travels and meeting Jack's family and everything so I don't really want to be super bogged down with work and kind of take a proper holiday so I've been doing a lot of work this past week to prepare for that keeping that in mind um, so kind of doing like double the work so for some reason, I just like haven't had the bandwidth to or the brain power to take out my camera while I've been doing all of this. So yeah, terrible vlogger, but here I am. It's Sunday. I have my coffee. That is the first thing I've done. Um, actually, that's kind of a lie. I've been, <laughs> I've been upstairs laying out clothes that I want to bring to London, um, but kind of willy nilly. So I need to, like, I've just been throwing things on my bed being like, this will do. Like, I'll bring that and that and that. But I have a tendency of overpacking. So I'm going to try to not do a crazy, crazy job of repacking this time only because I want to be able to shop and like just not have too much stuff unnecessarily. Like there's really no reason for it. I just need to kind of get a capsule, a capsule pack job down where like things can go into multiple outfits and make sense. So I'm going to try to do that. But first I'm going to do what I do best, aka mapping out the days and our plans because we actually have very fairly solid plans each day so I kind of know ahead of time what to pack for or what to bring so I need to use that to my advantage so I'm gonna sit down pen and paper and map out some outfits um, speaking of outfits I'm wearing this reformation denim jumpsuit that I forgot that I had I got this I think last spring or something and it kind of looks like a prison jumpsuit in a way um, or like a work like a glossier work outfit but it's so comfortable I think I have to pack it and layer on top of it because it's a short sleeved it also ties at the waist I have it untied right now but it ties like right here at the waist and it's so cute I love it okay so coffee mm check and now let's sit down and map out some outfits talk through it feel organized then get down to packing um oh you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get my phone propped up on a tripod so you guys can see what i'm writing how about that so i'm gonna try to do it as best as i can on this paper day one day two day three Day four, day five, day six, day seven, and then maybe like a miscellaneous tab. These are the days we are working with. Miscellaneous will include 
sleepwear and stuff. So on day one, this is travel day. Day seven is also a travel day. Please do not make fun of how I hold my pen. <laughs> I know it's bad, real bad. Okay, so we leave on day one. Our flight is 9.30 p.m. So that being said, I'm just gonna wear a comfy outfit to the airport, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'll wear a comfy outfit. We land the next morning, because it's a red-eye flight, so we sleep on the plane, which is always my favorite kind of flight, because I am actually extremely good at sleeping on planes. So we will arrive at, I think, what time would it be? 8.30 in the morning, London time, on day two. Flight outfit. What is my flight outfit? Probably all black activewear and sweatshirt and probably one of my coats that I have to bring with me because I can't fit it in my bag if I had to guess. So then morning, we'll land at 8.30. We'll go to our hotel, change outfits. We're gonna go to Borough Market for lunch. That is our plan. A bunch of people told me I need to go there. I think I've actually, no wait, I don't even know why I just said that. I've been there before, but a bunch of people did tell me I should go there. Oh, but I also did go when I was in London last. So we're gonna go to Borough Market for lunch, which is gonna be around like, I guess by the time we settle, we're gonna go back to, to the Airbnb or go to the Airbnb, unload, spruce ourselves up. I'll probably shower, do my hair, all that, all that jazz and wear a relatively comfy day outfit because then we will, ooh, but will we go back? We'll definitely go back before dinner. We're going to Dishoom for dinner, which is an Indian place. So, Borough Market for lunch. I'm gonna write this down. I'm gonna start, start chill on this day and I'll probably be feeling bloated from the flight. So I'll wear some nice, like comfy jeans, jeans, plus either a top or a sweater. I'm kind of keeping this vague because then I will take this guide and pack accordingly and then like assign each day or each, each piece to a day. So jeans plus top slash sweater plus probably a trench coat. The temperature while I'll be there is going to be kind of the same as it is here as far as i checked like when i put the forecast i know it's you know always a bit colder and rainier in london um but it's technically like i think high 30s low 50s here and there like ebbs and flows from there but yeah so that's kind of what i'm planning for anyway that is going to be my lunchtime outfit then we have dinner i'm so excited about it it deserves an exclamation point. Outfit is going to be something kind of on the nicer side because I, I do, people wear whatever, but I am me. I am me and I dress for the vibes and the vibes are telling me wear a dress. And I typically wear a lot of dresses, as you know. I don't need to justify myself. So I'm going to wear, I have um, this cream. Ooh, this reminds me, I need to make sure I tan before. Do I tan before I fly? Yes. So that is a before travel day reminder. Okay. So I'll be kind of kind of bronzed. I'm gonna wear, I have this cream sweater dress and I guess I already kind of know which shoes I'm bringing. I'm bringing two pairs of ballet, like or flats, two pairs of flats. I'm bringing a sneaker, sneakers, flats, two pairs of flats low boots that are easy to walk in and then I think a little pair of heels because we're going to an afternoon tea which I will get to later in our week so I need a, like a little pair of heels for that trench again like a nicer trench or I have a brown coat so day three we're gonna be tired for sure we're gonna get just a quick easy breakfast we're going to the Harry Potter tour, making of Harry Potter tour. Let's think, okay, breakfast will be athletic clothes. Like I'll definitely just wanna wear like something super chill, probably something black if I had to guess. So that will be morning. I need to bring like cute sneakers. Okay, write that down. 
I kind of run hot on things like this, like on tours. Like I feel like I'll, I'll get kind of hot. So I'm gonna do a long sleeve shirt, top, bodysuit situation, and then trench coat again. I love a trench coat. I have so many of them. I think I'm gonna bring literally two, probably not three, hopefully two. Um, oh, my mom just said the place, the Mediterranean place we're going to is smart and elegant dress code. Okay, smart and elegant dress code. Got it, this is helpful information for me. Okay, we have that done. For dinner, we're going to Jeru. That was a recommendation from one of you guys. It's called J-E-R-U, and it's Mediterranean, and the dress code is smart, elegant, smart and elegant dress. So that will warrant a dress, and I'll know dress means something elegant. So dress plus brown coat or black coat. I think black coat. Next up we have day four. Day four is a very exciting day. We'll also need athletic clothes. And so this day is actually very exciting, day four, because we're going to Jack's hometown called Swindon. So we're going to Swindon um, during the day and into the night, sleeping over there, waking up the next morning, have a whole other plan. So I need to pack something. I need to do an overnight bag for this couple of days because we're gonna be leaving London to go to Swindon. So I need to pack like a few things just for this trip, for this leg of the journey. While we're there, we're actually going to a soccer game. I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna wear the soccer game outfit all day into the night, doing dinner, going out. Yeah, cause it's gonna be one of those like all day sorts of things. So I'm gonna wear something pretty versatile because then the next day I'm gonna wear something a bit nicer for a different plan. So, the soccer game outfit, I'm gonna do jeans, shocker. Sorry, I just bumped you. Jeans plus sweater or top. I guess we're gonna be outside, so sweater plus a trench. Trench coats always fare well with these things, plus the cute sneakers. I'll mentally note that. I'm not a huge jeans and sneakers kind of gal, but the things I do for this man. Okay, jeans, sweater and trench. That's for the soccer game, into the night, dinner. Yeah, we'll be in Swindon this day. So I guess I'll make a note. Swindon. Same. And I'll probably bring a big, big purse. So I have like stuff in it. Like deodorant, spray, that kind of thing. Okay, and we're halfway through the trip now. So day five, I'll be waking up in Swindon. We're still in Swindon. I'll be waking up with Jack's. Then this day, day five, Jack has an adventure planned. We're gonna take his car and drive somewhere in the country that he's been wanting us to go to, so we're gonna do that. And I'm assuming I'll wanna be comfy, but also cute, because he said that there's gonna be good photo opportunities where we're going. So I think I'll probably do a sweater dress. I have this gray cashmere sweater dress. Then I'll do my short boots with that, plus either black coat or trench, probably the trench, since I won't have a lot of space to bring the black coat as well. So I'll probably do the trench, but not totally sure. So that is the day. Then, so that's Saturday, we get back. Okay, so for day five, I'm not sure what the dinner plans are. So I'm just gonna put dinner and leave it blank for now. I need to talk to my mom about that. So day six, we're doing, so this is the day we're doing afternoon tea. I don't actually know exactly where the tea place is. Jack actually organized it as a Christmas present for my mom, his mom, me, my sister. Um, so he organized that. So I'm gonna have to get some details from him. But we are going to afternoon tea. So I'm gonna wear a dress, fancy dress. So we're gonna do the ivy for dinner. And the outfit I'll be wearing for that, the ivy, I think it's like relatively casual. So I think 
how many dresses do I even have? Okay, for that dinner, I'll do jeans and a sweater slash a long sleeve top, maybe. So that's day six. And then, oh my God, I think that's our last night. So I'll probably, we'll probably go to a bar after this if I had to guess, knowing my parents. So we'll do a bar afterwards. Then day seven is a travel day. We leave at four-ish. So my outfit will be active wear. Kind of bringing it back full circle from the first day. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate on my bed the little piles for each day, I think, and then I'm gonna roll everything up and put it into the suitcase. So that is the, the loose plan. But I definitely need to call my sister and my mom and talk through this to make sure I'm on the money. But I definitely have the clothes for this, so I don't need to buy anything. <laughs> so here we go. To-do list, we have my to-pack list, and now my Sephora list. Jack just texted me, he just woke up, and he wants to go for a walk, so I guess he's coming to Sephora with me. Tee hee, love that for me, okay. Sephora to get, we're gonna do, I need to get a new Anastasia brow pencil, a new beauty blender, mine is Toast. What is it, Charlotte Tilbury liner pencil. Whoa, can you read that? Not sure. My handwriting might be the kind of handwriting that like only I can read sometimes, so forgive me for that, but okay, Laura Mercier foundation. I'm gonna try to get a better shade that matches me a bit better than the one I have, because I think mine my current one is a little bit too orange. So I'm gonna try to sample some other colors of that. And then I feel like there was like one more thing that I needed. <laughs> I think that might actually be it. I'm gonna do that and then we'll reconvene and talk packing and like actual things. So let's do it.